Hey guys, Spooky Noodle 666 here with Vlad again because apparently we have nothing better to do with our lives. I am eating Pumba, so if that offends you, fuck off. Yep. Yep. Speak, Fritz. Speak. All right. So today, what we will be doing is drum roll, please. Yep. School. Yes, the holiday season is Thank almost about over. Holiday season is almost over, and we're going to school come Monday. Yay. <laughs> My school have decided to put exams next week, the week we come back, which start on the Wednesday officially, but I do have a French test on the Tuesday that my teacher just decided, hey, I'm going to put that there instead of letting my students revise for shit that's going to happen on Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, Gotta love the teachers. Plus, I get to deal with pretty much relearning everything I learned last semester because Americans are ignorant twats. Also, you have to deal with mine and Jordan's stress because we're not exactly going to be happy bunnies over the next two weeks. Yeah. This will be an, an interesting week coming up. I love how I love how I'm just casually eating pumbas because yeah. I've died. I mean, here you want for that? Free advertising. I see my screen. Oh shit! <laughs> All right, so in honor of Dan is not on fire, let's try some embarrassing memories of school. You think? <laughs> memories. Yep. Any form of memory. Uh, um. I've done a lot of bad shit in school. Can we not do this? All right. Uh, thanks. That was that was that was sarcasm. I will do it. Alrighty. You first. All right. So you know how I am an extreme klutz. I will fall up and down everything. One story. Including an escalator. Yeah. One day, one real funny story. I fell down an upwards escalator. But, <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get into that. But basically, I was just going about my daily routine, walking up the stairs, heading to my English class. And all of a sudden, the floor comes out from underneath me. I land face first onto this com very computer I'm recording with. And I begin panic mode, just tr trying to make sure it's okay. The floor came out from under you. Well, I was jumping two steps at a time because I was running late. But was this Hogwarts? Hmm. Hogwarts. The staircase is moved. Don't worry. <laughs> no, it's not Hogwarts. If it were, I'd have died. <laughs> I'd have got eaten by a dragon or something. More than likely. You would have been nearly witless, Todd. No, that that doesn't work. Fuck. <laughs> I no. I would. I tried to make a Harry Potter reference and failed. I'd have been more of a derp than Ron was his very first year. Ron's funny, and I'd say second year he was even more of a derp because he kind of broke his wand. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what? And then there were giant spiders. I did not like that movie. So I've covered my little tidbit that. Didn't want the internet to know, but because I wanted to hear an interesting story of yours, I had to. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should start with something that happened in primary school, which for you ignorant Americans will be sort of elementary school? Yep. Oh. Yeah. It'll be elementary school. Um, it's more of a kind of fight thing than a funny thing, but basically this, there was this bitch, and like every single school has a fucking bitch. And this was shit, so I was about nine-ish, and this girl was a year older than me, and she used to go around with, like, her group of five sluts, and of course I'd just be standing there with my friend, probably role-playing at some point, because that's all I did in primary school, <laughs> just role-played. And she probably would have said something to me or my friend, I can't remember most of this. All I remember is that she ended up on the floor with a black eye, but, you know. And 
I think she probably slapped me or something. But I said something to her and she got pissed off and then there was a fight and then I may or may not have smashed her head into the fence. Dang. <laughs> no one found out! Thank fucking god, which is why this is going up on your channel and not my channel because mum checks my channel. Yeah. <laughs> me and my seven subscribers, three of which are my other channels. That's pretty sad. Forgive me while I f go forever alone <laughs> in a corner for a bit. Todd, come back, you twat. <laughs> Fine. Now it's your turn again. Okay, so this one's another... Most of mine are about fights, by the way. I get and a lot of fights. Most of mine are falling up and down things. Though, I had one amazing thing I did. It was back when I was going to Highland. I was a year six... No? Year eight. And there was How this... old were you? I was... It was eighth grade, so it was four years ago. So I was 12. Uh, no. 12 I was... is... Yeah, you're right. And basically, we had... There was this big open commons area where a lot of the classrooms... Where it branched off into the different apartments. And there was just this open, open balcony on the second floor where we could jump down. A solid 20-foot gap between it and the wall. So I just... So a friend of mine actually hands me a $5 bill and says, I dare you to jump off of this. So, me being the stupid twat I am, I jumped off and almost took somebody's head off on the way down. <laughs> I can't really say anything. <laughs> yeah. What I'm people will do for money. I have a feeling this video is just going to reveal how bad my anger issues really are. Especially with the next... Huh? All right. What's your story? I was hanging out with my friends in one of the classrooms, which are, we are now banned from going inside. And one of the year eight twats came in. Actually, no, it was year seven at that point. One of them came in. And they started saying stuff to my friend, who is now my boyfriend. Obviously, I did not take too kindly to that, so I told them to fuck off. And then they started on me, and then I ignored it, getting progressively pissed off about it, in my mind. Until this kid said this one thing, and it was about my mother. And then I got really pissed, because you don't say anything about my mom. So I chased this kid out of the classroom, down the corridor, and slammed him into the wall by his neck. And then was dragged back into the classroom by George, and no one saw it. Oh. I seem to be very good at getting away with this shit. Yeah. You do. Alright, well, we're at eight and a half minutes, so I think we can cut it off here. Don't you? Um, yum, 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 yum. Yes. Alright, so, I'm Vladimir from Vlad Zero MC Studios, and this is Spooky Noodle 666. My channel will be in the description. And thank you guys for watching. Bye. Ciao.